Hi everyone, in this video I will talk about chicken pox. What is chicken pox? Chicken pox is a mild disease but is highly contagious and in adults it may result in severe illness. It is caused by a virus that can also cause shingles. It's the same virus that causes shingles which is the varicella herpes zoster virus. Recovery occurs naturally. Chicken pox affects mainly children under the age of 10 years. The incubation period is from 10 to 21 days and most commonly between 14 and 16 days. The illness has a short prodrome. Prodrome are the early symptoms which are fever, lethargy and anorexia. Which these are followed then by an eruption of the rash that occurs over the next three to five days. As you can see in this picture, the rash consists of crops of small papules that quickly become vesicular. Vesicular means fluid filled and then they crust over after the vesicles have ruptured. Usually the lesions are fully crusted over by 10 days. The lesions may occur anywhere, but the scalp, face, trunk, mouth and conjunctivi are the most typical locations. So in this picture you can see the vesicular lesions which are fluid filled as you can see here and the erythematous margins. Erythema means redness, so you, you find the red, reddened margins. In this picture you can see that this rash is later in course with many lesions crusting, here you can see them crusting, and there are no new vesicular lesions occurring. Chicken pox is benign and self-limiting, but it may be associated with some complications. These complications include bacterial superinfection of the lesions, particularly with group A beta hemolytic streptococcus and staph aureus. There can also be pneumonia, encephalitis, cerebellitis, arthritis, and dry syndrome. Complications are most common in infants and people over the age of 15 years and immunocompromised children. Recurrence of the infection results in the localized phenomenon known as herpes zoster or shingles. Chicken pox is very infectious and can spread by droplets from the nose and mouth or by direct contact from the fluid coming out from the vesicles. Chicken pox is infectious in a period 24 hours before the rash appears and remain infectious until all the vesicles crust and are covered by scabs and no new ones appear. Most people worry about scarring, but usually the spots do not scar unless they become infected. Exclusion from school should be done for seven days after the rash appears or until all the blisters are dried and covered by scabs. At home, it would be sensible to expose other children to the infected person so that the illness can be contracted before adulthood, but take care not to expose people with immune deficiency disorders to the child. 
Now, as for therapy, uh, immunocompetent children, they don't need specific therapy. We mostly treat the symptoms. So, first of all, rest, rest in bed or move around quietly until feeling well. That's what we ask the child to do. We give paracetamol for the fever. We avoid aspirin because it may rarely cause a severe reaction in children. We can use calamine or other soothing lotions such as a solute gel. We should avoid scratching, uh, clean and cut fingernails of children, put on cotton mittens if necessary. Simple diet, ample fluids, daily bathing with sodium uh, bicarbonate. Half a cup in uh, bath water can be helpful. Remember to pat, dry and not rub. Antihistamines can be used if there is a severe itch or to improve sleep at night. Now as for the antiviral drugs. We use acyclovir but is usually used only for certain cases of neonates for adolescents and adults with severe eruption and it should be started within the first three days of the rash, preferably day one. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel to support me. And ring the bell to get the latest notifications whenever I upload. Thank you so much again.